Hey guys, welcome to Our Picking Opinions. I'm your host, I'm your Tuesday host, Hovick, and this week's topic is about socialism, um, our personal views, and whether it would be, it would work in America. Okay, so first off, I'm going to say that currently, right now, I don't think socialism would work in America, because what socialism is, is basically putting the government in charge of everything. And as most of you know and can see, our current government is a little uh, screwed up, to say the least. And while I do believe that the idea of socialism would actually work to benefit us, in order for it to work, it would require a massive overhaul of everything. I mean, we would need to literally, and I, eh, and it's kind of scary to say it, that like we would literally need to like go to hit ground zero, hit rock bottom, totally destroy everything, and then bring bring it back up again, fresh and, and with that with the ideals in mind of socialism. And um, I say it's kind of scary to say, is because as you can kind of see, it's, so that seems to be what's happening in the world that. The U.S. is really crumbling. We are really starting to hit the shit fan, and it's not pleasant. Now, um, as far as and I think this will be interesting, is because my views on socialism are probably a little bit more different than other people, just because of my. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to. Just there we go. All right, I'm sorry. I'm moving my camera around a lot. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's a little bit different just because, um, as some of you probably either know or have heard from my other channel, um, I'm Armenian by background, and so my parents, grandparents, everybody came from there. They all lived there, and they came from a time, or they were around at a time when communism was big, when communism had taken over everything, and it was what was done. And I can honestly tell you, from all the stories that I've heard, and from what they tell me, it was actually one of the best and worst times in their lives. It was the best time because you had government control of everything, alright? They had their own little units for different things, and they all they just controlled everything. Nobody got involved, nobody, no, no, none of the, you know, no... It basically was it was like saying the rich were no longer involved, the poor were no longer involved, nobody had a say. It was government sort of like neutral playing field, so to speak. Okay, where they didn't have enough money, they didn't have all the money, and they didn't have none of the money. They just sort of did. Okay? And it worked and it was amazing and they said all the time that those were really amazing times. And if you look, that was actually the best time for Russia. They made a lot they were huge in the economy. They were the hugest biggest economy there was at the time. There's nobody bigger in Russia. And again, like I said, that came at a time when the country itself was really in a shithole and things needed to change. So, like I said before, it's kind of scary to say that we've almost pretty much reached that point here in the United States where um, everything is sort of falling apart and you know, you feel as if that's like the only answer. And honestly, like I said, I don't think right now with the current political system we have going that that'll ever work. Socialism will not work right now. Socialism will only happen maybe later in life, a long time in life, long time, when we have the government actually figured out to the way that we wanted to. And honestly, I'm going to say this and it's going to get a lot of hate, but as much as people complain about the government and the way that things are, honestly people, we voted for those people in, they are there because of us, we created the monster, don't tell me otherwise. Alright? There, I said it. Feel free to stop the video, spam, dislike, leave a nasty comment, whatever. It's the facts, I'm sorry. We created the monster, and now we have to pay for it. Okay? And the only way to cause change, the only way to make socialism work, which everybody thinks is so great, which I'm not saying that it isn't, but it needs to be very well monitored and done correctly in order for it to be successful. 
Anyway, yeah. Um, in order for that to work, things are really going to have to get changed. Massive overhaul in order for that to occur. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm not going to get into any more of this. Um, again, I'm going to apologize if I offended anybody. If you don't agree, that's fine. I would understand. Um, but it's just my opinion. And I can only give what I know to you. And, um, I mean, I know this was like, I was looking at the topic for a really long time, and I was really not looking forward to it. But I was like, you know what? It, it was like, I'm not going to be fair to myself if I just have somebody else do it for me. So I need to do it. So I did. So, hope you enjoyed. I can see that this is a really short video. But that's just the way it's going to have to be this time. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. Feel free to um, check out our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, visit my personal channel, subscribe there. I'll have some videos up shortly. But um, yeah, so, best of you guys.